Good morning students. I am your English teacher and today we are going to see chapter number 19 verbs. Okay. Let us start. What is a verb? A verb is a word that states an action, a fact or a happening. Okay. So, whenever, what is the definition of verb? A verb is a word that states an action, a fact or a happening. Okay. We can call a word as verb when it tells us about the action, what is going, what is being happening or what is going to happen or the fact is there or any happening is there. To make it more clear, we will see some more some um, examples of it. Let us start. We do several actions every day. Also, things happen around us naturally. Apart from the action and the happenings, we note certain facts as well. They are words in every language that are used to express these three things. Facts, actions and happening. So, let us study some examples of this. First one. The birds are flying in the air. That is an action. A rose gives out sweet smell. That is a fact. It rained very heavily yesterday. That is a happening. So, in these sentences, the words, the words are flying, show an action. They show that the birds do the action of flying. Okay. What does are flying show? That is the action of flying. Then the words gives out states a fact that the rose about the rose flower. That is a fact. Yes, that is a fact that rose gives out sweet smell. Then the word rain shows a happening. Okay. Likewise, now we'll see the tense. The word tense points to the period of time in which an action or a happening takes place. Time has three main divisions in general. Okay. So, the various points, uh, period of times are there in which an action or a happening takes place. So, likewise, these are divided into three main division in general. So, you can see here, first one is tense, that is time, present tense, past tense and future tense. Present tense is before now, present tense is now and future tense is after now. Okay. So, most of most of the verbs have three different forms that are used for various tenses we must learn these forms okay let us see these three forms now see first one is first we will see present tense then past tense and then past participle okay First one, arise, arose, arisen. Second, begin, began, begun. Third is, bind, bound, bound. Fourth is, bit, bite, bit, bitten. Next, blow, blew, blown. Next, break, broke, broken. Next, come, came, come. Next, do, did, done. Next, Eat, ate, eaten. Next, fall, fo fell, fallen. Next is, find, found, found. Likewise, here also we can see, present tense we use give, past tense we use gave, in past participle we use 
given so according to the time we use these tenses grow grew grown ring rang rung run ran run rise ro rose risen see saw seen show showed shown sing sang sung take took taken wear wo worn write wrote written in the same when we say past and past participle forms are same in some times first one is bring brought brought next burn burnt burnt next catch caught caught next feel felt felt next have had had next lead led led next make made made say said said sell sold sold spell spelt spelt teach taught taught watch watched watched okay now when all the three forms are same sometimes it happens like cost 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 cut 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 hit 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 let 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 read read re read shut 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 okay so these are the three forms of three tenses okay thank you children